Hi, this is Kim Ironman, founder of Eco Beneficial, bringing you some more useful gardening tips to help improve our environment. The plant that I'm standing in front of here is a wonderful native holly. It's a deciduous holly. It's called Ilex verticillata. And you'll notice that there are berries that are up and down the stems of this plant, um, and they're not eaten yet. Now, here we are in late September, and you might ask, why aren't they eaten? This is winter food for birds. Essentially, it's nature's way of holding on some food for fruit-eating birds through the winter, the birds that overwinter here. And what happens as the weather chills and these berries go through some frosts and warming periods, the sugars, the natural sugars in these berries start to concentrate and the berries become more palatable for birds. So it's nature's way of um, providing some winter food for birds that are quite hungry in January, February, March. Ilex verticillata is a deciduous holly, and it has a wide native range from Maine all the way south to Florida, west to Minnesota. Because it's dioecious, meaning they're male and female plants, it's important to make sure that you select plants that have the same flowering time. There are many, many cultivars of Ilex verticillata, so when you go to the nursery, make sure you get a match set. Now, if you don't, uh, you will not get pollination and you will not get berries. Although both the male and female plants do flower, only the female plants produce the fruit. Ilex verticillata is hardy from zones 3 to 9 and prefers wet or moist soil. It will actually grow in average garden soil, but that's not ideal. Uh, the, it is a plant that in uh, its natural form will be 6 to 10 feet tall by 6 to 10 feet wide. It's an acid lover, so make sure that you've got acidic soil if you're going to buy the plant. In terms of sun conditions, sun to light shade is optimal. The flowers are rather small and inconspicuous, but actually are good nectar sources and pollen sources for many bees and other beneficial insects. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful gardening tips to improve our environment, please visit us at www.ecobeneficial.com.